AL.com, thanks for joining us yet again. It's Edward Bowser. Nia Watkins. And we're here for another edition of The Keep Up. Yay! Nia, what's going on in the world of music? Nothing much, you know. It's just a bunch of Migos flows. <laughs> that is the and, problem. Um, These tight pants are driving me crazy. I'm trying to hear some music of substance. So you got something for us today. Yeah, I mean, even though like there's a lot in the urban music landscape that leaves to be desired, there's great, still some man. really great things out there. So I'm excited. So today we're going to share a few of our favorite songs, and then we hope you will share yours as well. Let's get into it and hear the good stuff. All right, we've got to start off with one of my favorite songs of the year so far, Michael Jackson's Love Never Felt So Good. Now, if you've been following the Keep Up, and I hope you have, you know that we have been following this whole saga of Michael posthumous material for forever now, and we were not too excited about the prospect of hearing Ghost Michael over 2014 beats. But this song does it right. It sounds great, it's the perfect summer jam, and it's a song you can play in front of your grandma and not be embarrassed. It's my song right here. And one thing that I'm currently obsessed with is basically all British male soul singers. Like they are really kind of from Sam Smith to my buddy Ed Sheeran back here. They're turning out some really good stuff. So Dale, man, they, they yeah, have voices, man. Oh my God, I yes. forgot about him. Anyway, not the point. Um, <laughs> One of my favorite songs right now is Ed Sheeran Sing, which I believe was produced by Pharrell, since you can hear Pharrell in the background. And it's just, it's a lot more upbeat than his last album. Um, a lot of that was very acoustic sound, and this is very funky, very high paced. You can kind of get your groove on to it. So it's a really, really good song. All right, I will admit, I have never been the biggest 50 Cent fan. This one over here will relate. But. Fifth's new album, Animal Ambition, is surprisingly good. And Irregular Heartbeat is one of my favorites from the album because it has that 90s aggressive gutter sound that kind of like Mob Deep and that crew kind of pioneered back then. And it's a throwback to that. It's 50 Cent, it's Jada Kiss, new guy Kid Kid on it. The beat is very sparse and they're just really just threatening other, threatening other people. And finally, we have a new artist, producer, musician person that I picked up somewhere in the corners of the internet. I had never heard of him. ATU, if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I am. But he's awesome. So basically, he meshes, um, he kind of reworks 90s and early 2000s and current R&B and kind of makes a new song. And you have to kind of figure out where these samples come from. So one of my favorite songs from him right now, he released an album in 2013 called Pictures in Silence. And one of my favorite songs is Close. And it's just such a chill vibe. I think it's got a little Aaliyah in there, Rock the Boat, if I'm hearing correctly. Um, Cause there are no liner notes, you know, in this new digital world. Lame. <laughs> right? But um, he's really dope. He's really dope. You guys should check him out. All right, those were some of our favorite songs of the year. And not only are those four songs that we mentioned gonna be in our fabulous playlist, we also added a few more treats for you down there. So if you have some songs to add, and I know you do. Let us know in the comments and we'll drop them in the playlist. Yep. We can help you get through your day with some good music. Yay. Yep. Thanks for joining us and thanks for keeping up with the Keep Up. Bye.